Hi guys, my name is Alexo Avrenin. Welcome to YouTube channel Senior QA Automation Engineer. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. How we can implement our condition inside Java Loop and use it for our test cases? I will explain you this very practical example. We can add our condition inside Loop. We have already Loop an array list web elements from our previous video about array list. I type name of array list, get index, get text, contain some specific word maven. It means after each iteration in loop it takes text from new web element added to list and do comparison with my word. If it finds exactly word, it prints message for me in my condition. It's open browser for me because we use Selenium here. Ok, it doesn't find my word in leads, that is why it doesn't print my phrase. Sure, I can use else condition and assert, it would fail my test if I wouldn't have specific actual result and it doesn't satisfy my expectations. Ok, I received negative result and TSNG shows this assertion error. Now I give my condition good word collections for positive result. String starts exactly with uppercase as, as an hour web page. Yes, Selenium can find this word. I open Chrome many times. The best approach when you close browser automatically. In this case, I need to add driver quit command before curly brackets for closing class and method. Now I give my condition good word collections for positive result. String starts exactly with uppercase as on our web page. I add a third fail if my test case detects my specific word. Why I need? Because sometimes you need to find not required words on web page and can be between thousand words. Automation can help you with that. And now our test case has failed because we can find this word. It's our expected result. For creating more beautiful and readable code, I can create string variable with understandable name category. Add new value of text after each loop interaction and replace same element in our condition. Now I want to add other action in condition. I open our web page and right click on search text field. After select inspect element, it opens tab elements in my developer tools and it's highlighted block of HTML for this search field. I can find ID and value of ID, press Ctrl and F, it opens search in HTML page. If I want to create and check CSS selector for ID of element, the easiest way type hashtag and value of ID and press enter. 
For class, we can use dot and value of class. It works only for CSS selector. If it's highlighted, you require web element and block of code. It is correct Selenium locator. Now we can use our locator. I remove our assertion and tap driver find element dot by class select CSS selector and add our locator in double quotes. And we need some action for this web element. Because it's search field, no sense to click it, because it would be invisible click. More visible and logical action if I type some word. Remember, it types word in search field only if our condition is true. I mentioned that our condition loop checks all text in all web elements on page and should find specific word collection. It's, it's type our word in search field. It means our if condition is true. If it's happen, it triggers our action. It's, it is fast and not visible because we don't print all our actions. But Java loops many times search in list of web elements till can find specific word. I can check 100 elements for dozen seconds.